Hello everyone. I think we're going to start in one or two minutes. We only have Alexis, Pedrina, and Carmen. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. We're going to start in one minute. One or two minutes. Good evening. Good evening, Carmen. Good evening, Pedrina. So let's wait. Esperamos los dos minutos y empezamos nosotros. Okay? Very okay. good. Estaba atravesando. Okay, we have more people now. We have Emerson. I think we should start with the class. Give me one moment. Now, today we are in video conferencia numero 12, right? So that's what we're going to start. We're going to do present continuous and simple present. So today is grammar. Okay, today we're gonna do grammar, a lot of grammar. Let me show you here, right? And I would like you to please be ready. Hello, Celia, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, Emerson. Hello, teacher. Hi. So we're going to, we're going to start here with the National English for Work Program, right? And we're going to start with, well, we are in unit three, a schedule events at the workplace. And we're going to do video conference number 12. Simple present versus present continuous. A simple present versus present continuous. Now, what is the present continuous? Let's remember the class that we had yesterday. Okay. What is the present continuous? Or when do we use present continuous? We use present continuous when we need to say the activities that we are doing in this in the, in the moment, at the moment, right now. Exactly. Okay. That is one thing that we need to, to remember when we are saying or talking about the activities that we're doing at the moment of speaking, right? Very good, very good. Examples of activities that we are doing right now. Let's take a look at the cameras right now that we have. What are we doing right now? Tell me one thing you are doing. What are you doing? Emerson, what are you doing? We are listening to you. We are listening, okay. You are listening to me, okay. You are listening to me. Very good. That is one option. Excellent job, Carmen. What else? What else are you doing? What are you doing? Yes? 
What are you doing? Do you remember the questions we practiced yesterday? What is she doing? What is he doing? Now, what are you doing? Alexis, what are you doing? He is studying. I am. Ah, uh, perdón. I am studying. I am studying. Repeat. Studying, studying. Very good. I am studying uh, at uh, 8 p.m. I am studying. Only I am studying. Oh, you say, yes. I am studying right now. Yes. Okay, repeat. I am studying right now. I am studying right now. Okay, good, good. Emerson, what are you doing? I am opening the book in my computer. Very good. I am opening my book in the computer. Excellent answer, Emerson. Hey, Angie, what are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wam. I am um I am a student studying. English I am studying right now. Uh -huh. I am studying English right now. Very good. Very good. What are you doing, Celia? Teacher, no sube la clase de ayer. Ah, Celia, y no vio el video. Okay, don't worry. We're going to practice today. Remember, right? This is for you to remember. Celia, take a screenshot. Right. We use the present continuous to talk about activities at the moment of speaking. Activities at the moment of speaking. Right. I am opening. I am opening my notebook right now. I am writing on my notebook. Okay. I am drinking water. Those are activities that are happening at this moment. Esas son actividades que están sucediendo en estos momentos. Okay? Activities at the moment of speaking. Now, let's take a look at, we're going to do a small exercise right now. And everyone, please pay attention. Look at the picture here. In this picture, it says, write a sentence using present progressive. Right? That's what we, what we, what we want. Right? Write a sentence using present progressive. We have the verse, we have the activity. What could be number one, Emerson? What could be the answer for number one? The play tennis? Yes. Okay, crear una oración sería con eso. Yes, we're going to okay. write a sentence using present progressive. I am. Um... Is that you? Look at the picture. Okay. Uh, he, he, he is. Uh -huh. She. She. She is play tennis in the afternoon. Okay, she is playing. Playing. Uh huh. She's playing tennis. Uh, at the afternoon. In the afternoon, okay, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay, she's playing tennis in the afternoon. Here, this phrase, right, this phrase, usually we use it for simple present, okay? In the afternoon, usualmente, for present progressive, usually we're going to use phrases like right now, at this moment, in this moment, at the present or now, okay? She's playing tennis right now, for example. She's playing tennis right now, okay? What could be number two? What could be number two, uh, Carmen? Thank you, Emerson. Number two, he, bueno, she is riding a bike. She is riding? Right She's riding a bike. She's riding a bike right now. 
right now. Very good. She is riding a bike right now. We have number one, number two. Very good. Let's do the other ones together. Let's do the other ones individually. Ya tenemos la uno, la dos. Let's do number three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay? Please take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot. Okay? And let's practice together. Okay? Ya tomaron a screenshot? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, let's do this activity right now individually. So you can teacher. remember the practice, yes? Teacher, sorry, eh, no tome el screenshot. Who is that? Ay, Ana Gabriela. Ana Gabriela, okay, give me a moment, Ana Gabriela. I will send it to you, okay? Give me a moment. Yes, I'll be here. Okay, the other ones, please copy right there the information, right? Did you receive it, Anna? Okay, in the meantime, I will call the attendance for everyone. Vamos a pasar la asistencia rapidito para todos. Mientras trabajen esto. ¿Se entiende lo que estamos haciendo, chicos? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, very well. Now, please uh, tell me the attendance right now. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Very good. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente, teacher. Very good. Solamente recuerden hacer sus cámaras en la asistencia, por favor. Eso sí es obligación. Eh, Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Carmen Lisette Hernández. Present. Very good. Celia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Very good. Eh, Daniela Mirka Sandoval Avilés. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarín de Aventura. Roxana Yanira Mejibar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. And Jennifer, thank you. Jennifer Avidail López Scott. Okay. Now we're going to continue here with the attendance with the class. Okay, did you finish? Did you finish the exercise? Did you finish the exercise? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Por favor, anotemos las frases que pongo en el chat, porque son frases que utilizamos todos los días. Okay, did you finish the exercise? Answer, yes, I did. Okay, sí, ya terminé. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I finished. Okay. Now, I have only one person. The others, did you finish the exercise? Did you finish the exercise? Hello. 
Hello, good, good evening. Good evening. Did you finish the exercise? Did you finish the exercise? Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. No, teacher. Tenemos yes. que responder a las preguntas, si no, no vamos a practicar. Okay? I can keep practicing the whole night. Okay? I just have two people that have finished. No tengan temor en equivocarse, por favor. Practique. Ricardo Gabriel, I will send you the a screenshot of, of what we're doing. Okay. Check it out on your phone. Very good. Now, check out your phone. Concepcion. Yes, teacher. Okay, what's the, what are the first two numbers of your phone number? ¿Cuál es su número de teléfono, Concepción? What's your phone number? 63, 11, 63. 63? 3, 8, 8, 0. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, there you have the exercise that we're doing right now. Okay, take a look. Take a look. Now, I am going to share right now that screen one more time. And you tell me, please, what can you see? We have number one. Okay, let me, let me open another one. In number one, Emerson told us she is playing tennis right now. In number two, Carmen told us she is riding a bike. What about number four? Number four. Uh, let's see here, Ana Gabriela, number four. Run. He is running and the mountain he is running in the mountains very good mountain repeat mountain. Mountain. very mountains. good excellent example thank you so much Ana Gabriela he is running in the mountain look at the spelling of the verb running okay now let's continue here with number five Angie swim mm -hmm. She is swimming in the morning. She is swimming in the morning. Okay. She is swimming in the morning. Very good. She is swimming in the morning. Excellent job here with swim. Let's continue there. Let's see another person. Pedrina. Take a walk. She's uh, taking inter. She's taking inter a uh, work. Work. She's taking a walk. Repeat. She's taking a walk. Okay. Where? 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 Is, where is she taking a walk? Where is she taking a walk? Where is she taking a walk? Okay. The, the answer is correct, Pedrina. She's taking a walk. Pongamosle algo más. She's taking a walk where? In a park. In the park. Very good. In the park. In the park. Excellent. She's taking a walk in the park. Very good. What about drive, Leida? Drive. She's a driver and car. One more time. Repeat. She is mm -hmm. she a is driver. A driver. A car. Car. Okay. Is this a present car. progressive, Elena? 
En su ejemplo, ¿está utilizando presente progresivo? Is this present progressive? She is a driver car. Right now. <laughs> okay, but look at the bird. I want you to look at the bird. Mire lo que está haciendo acá. Uh, Mire lo que han hecho sus compañeros en los ejemplos. Uh -huh. Okay, so tell me now. Right. What is the best form? She is driver car. She is driving. She is driving a car. Repeat. She is driving a car. She is driving a car. Excellent job. Now, the last one here. Please help me out. Uh, Alexis, watch a movie. Uh, yes. Uh, they, they is watching a movie a night. They watching a movie. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me, uh, Alexis, can you use is with they? Is they singular? No, tiene que ser with. Ah? Huh? Uh, Hmm. Ella está significando que son varios. Ajá. Uh -huh. And what happens then? Hmm. My Espérame. question is: Is they ah, singular? No. R, R, R. Okay. So tell me the answer. They are watching a movie. They are watching a movie tonight. Tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. At night, no. At night, no. Tonight. Mm -hmm. Tonight. Very good. They are watching a movie tonight. Okay. Tonight, Very good. Tonight. Very good. Do we have these examples? Is this clear? You can have other examples. Do you have different examples? Um, Join us, teacher. Mm -hmm. Usted, they are watching a movie at the cinema. Excellent, very good. They are watching a movie at the cinema. Excellent job. Very good. Asalia, what's another one that you have? Yo, teacher. Uh -huh. En la uh, de drive, puse, she's a driving at the supermarket. She's driving to the supermarket. To the supermarket. Okay. She's driving, she is driving to the supermarket. Very good. Um, She's driving to the she, supermarket. Teacher, yo, I, she is driving to her work. Exactly, very good, very good. She's driving to her work. Excellent job, excellent job. Okay. What other examples do you have? Uh, teacher, uh -huh. teacher, I and the, donde dice esta la de dry, de, yo tenía chidas a dry a, a mall. She's driving es? to the mall. She sí. is driving to the mall. To the mall. Uh -huh. Repeat. She is driving to She's the mall. Driving to the mall. Excellent. Very good. She is driving to the mall. Very well then. Now, questions about this? Questions about this exercise? Preguntas acerca de este ejercicio, chicos? Tell me no. if you have questions. No questions? Yes. No, teacher. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. First, Ricardo and then Asalia. Okay. Uh, the exercise is uh, used an ENG in the verbs? No. We are using present progressive, not ENG. We are using present progressive in the verbs. Present right. and all the verbs is uh, se le agrega ing o hay verbos que cambien. All of the verbs, the majority of the verbs, we are going to use ing. Right? In the majority of verbs, we're going to use ing. 
There are some no. verbs. Aquí a la par. There are some verbs that they have a rule. Okay? But we are going to see that in a moment. Okay? Hay unos verbos que no los okay. podemos poner en ING. But most of the verbs, if they are action verbs, for example, verbs that we can make an action with our body, we are going to use ING form, right? And that is present progress. Okay? Very good question. Asalia, what is your question? Asalia? Sí, ahorita. Um, en la oración no pueden ir como... Por ejemplo, yo puse, she's learning to drive. Yes, that's perfect. She's learning to drive. That's perfect. Okay. okay. Another question? Thank you. You're welcome. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Recuérdense que cuando vemos una imagen, todos vamos a tener una, una perspectiva distinta de la imagen. Okay? You can say, okay. I can say, she's taking a walk in the in the garden, right? I can say another thing, right? She's thinking about her wedding, right? I can mention different things. Yes, Sandra? I have a question. Yes, Carmen? Uh -huh. yeah. uh, what is the rule for IND form when you are used in uh, present continuous? For example, when you, with, with the verb from, you have to add an end. Uh -huh. Because the last letter is is a consonant, and before is a vowel, so you have to 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 add the last consonant. Round name or string name. Could you give us the rules? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. But in a moment, okay, in a moment, we're going to do that, but in a moment because we're going to use. The ING, and I don't want you to get confused, okay? Okay, don't worry. Now, we are going to work right now. Ya se la vamos a dar, pero todavía no, todavía no. Okay, it's not time yet. Let me share here the next exercise. Okay, we have here, well, this is the exercise that we did yesterday. Right. I want you to tell me your sentences right now in speaking. Let's start with number, uh, who had number three yesterday? ¿Quién tenía número, la número tres? Ya le voy a dar la regla de, de, de cómo hacer los verbos, pero no, todavía no. Eh, who had number three? In exercise, in this exercise right here. Exercise number three. ¿A quién le correspondía la número tres? A mí. Okay, tell me your example. Your answer? Pero me voy a meter a ahí. <laughs> okay. Who has number four? Here. Okay, go ahead, Emerson. Walter is signing today the checks. Walter is signing. Is signing today the checks. Okay, very good. Let me put it here. Walter is signing what? The checks today. Okay, Walter is signing the checks today. Change the position. Change the position of the verbs. Walter is signing the checks today. Who has number five? I'm teacher. Okay, Carmen. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Very good. In the afternoon. Excellent job. Number six, who has number six? Yes, I teacher. teacher. Okay, uh, let's see, Alexis. Eh, no, que a mí me tocaba la, la seis, no sé si ella también. Tell me the answer, Alexis. Yes. Uh, Guillermo is going. 
to the bank tomorrow. Okay. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Ya vamos a ver este ejemplo de tomorrow, okay? Now, let's see number three, Leida. Yes, Jane is turning working on their reports. Jane is? Turning. What is the verb, Leida? What is the verb? En esas palabras, ¿cuál es el verbo? What is the verb? Work. Okay, Jane is. Es que no sé qué es esto. Working. Working. Uh -huh. Jane is working on what? Toning. Uh, Toning. On the reports. On the reports. Mm -hmm. Tonight. Repeat. Jane is working on the reports tonight. Jane is working on the reports tonight. 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 Very good. Tonight. Excellent. Very good. We have these. Do you have the same answers? Tienen las mismas respuestas? Do you have the same answers? La puse al revés. Oh. Okay. If you don't have the same answers, put the correct answers right now. Estas son las respuestas correctas. Okay. okay. These are the correct answers. Put the answers correctly on your notebooks right now. On the report. La dos hicimos ayer. What was number two yesterday? Yo le, yo le preguntaba por qué no la veo ahí, como yo no estuve ayer. Okay. Yo la puse la no, me le preguntaba. What is number two? Who gave me number two? I think Emerson or Carmen gave me number two. A mí me tocaba. Mark. Okay, Maria Concepcion. Mark is, Mark is sending the letters the next week. The next Mark week. is sending the letters the next week. Next week. The next week. The next week. Okay, Mark is sending the letters the next week. Very good. Now please copy the answers. Let okay. me know when you finish. Yes, Alexis? Eh, una consulta tonight eh, en oración va a ir junto, no va a ir separado. Yes. Ah, es que estoy viendo que en la anterior también me, me lo corrigió y lo puso, sepa, lo puso junto. No va separado, ¿verdad? No. Uh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Is tonight significa esta noche. Se va a ir siempre. Así es la forma correcta. Tonight. Ok, yo tenía la duda. Ok, good. Yes, María Concepción. Este, yo ayer no pude entrar a la plataforma, por eso se las envié ahí a, a su número en WhatsApp. Really? Yes. Eh, teacher, igual a mí no me carga. Me dice que, es, que tengo que suscribirme, luego me da la opción de entrar y luego me vuelve a sacar, entonces no, no entiendo. Ok, send me, send me a screenshot of what's going on. Los dos, Concepción y Alexis. Envíenme un screenshot a WhatsApp. Y yo, se lo y yo se lo envío a los administradores. ¿Ok? Pero eso será mañana. Ok. Ok. Very good. Very good. Teacher, I have yes. another question. Yes, Carmen. We are studying about, uh, studying about the present continuous, but when I write the sentences, it, when we are writing the sentences, we are using uh, some adverbs like tomorrow. tomorrow in the afternoon, mm -hmm. as we, as the activity is not in the moment. Exactly, because it's we're going to future. see, we're going to see right now, Carmen, the other use. Remember right now, okay. we saw use number one. And in a moment, we're going to use use number two. Okay? okay. <laughs> yes, yes, good. Good question, Carmen. 
Thank you so much. Now, tell me if you finish. Did you copy the answers? ¿Ya copiaron las respuestas? Yes. Yes. yes? Very well. Very well. Now, let me sh let me share with you, right? This second option here that we are going to use. Okay. Now, this is like Carmen was saying. We just work with some of the sentences to describe the present progressive for actions that happened at the moment of the speech. Now we have present progressive and the use number two. Okay, recuerden, ya vimos, use number one. Now we're going to see use number two. Future plans or arrangements. What are future plans or arrangements? Are things that are going to happen in the future, okay? Things that are going to happen in the future. For example, Mary is going to a new school next term. Right? I can say, uh, I am going to eat, um, I am eating pupusas after the class. I am eating pupusas after the class. So when I say after the class, I'm talking about the future. Okay. A very usual question that you can have with present progressive is what are you doing? What are you doing next week? Ricardo, what are you doing next week? I next week. Tell me see. For example, next week, in my case, what are you doing next week? I am attending a Zoom conference. I am attending a Zoom conference. That's for me, right? Also, you can ask, what are you doing uh, next Sunday? What are you doing next Sunday, Carmen? I am traveling to the mountain. Okay, I am traveling to the mountains. Okay, very good. What are you doing next Sunday? I am traveling to the mountain. Okay, I am traveling to the mountain. Very well. What are you doing next week, Maria? Maria Concepcion? Yes, teacher. What are you doing next week? Repeat, please. What are you doing next week? Um, I am assisting the meeting the manager. Okay, I am assisting a meeting with the manager. Very good. What are you doing next week, Angela? I am... I am going to um, the supermarket. I am going to the supermarket. Very good, very good. I am going to the supermarket. Now, remember the questions that we made before. In this question, in this exercise, we ask, what are you doing? What are you doing? In this one, we put phrases last, like next week, next Sunday, tomorrow, right, in two hours, right, to talk about the future, okay, to talk about the future. Now, let me show you here what we're going to do. Please pay attention and put your pens down. Pay attention and put your pens down. We're gonna work here with the present progressive. This is the grammar form that we're going to use. With present progressive, we have here, 
right? The subject, the verb, and the complement. Okay? Subject, verb, complement. This is going to be like the formula that we are going to use, right, for this. But we're going to add an element, okay? Subject plus verb B plus verb with ing plus complement, okay? Look the two new things that we're going to use. Subject plus verb B plus verb with ing plus complement, okay? This is going to be our formula. We're going to put it here. Okay. And then remember, remember that with the present progressive, we are going to have two uses. Okay. Number one, to talk about activities at the time of speaking. Okay. Number two, to talk about future. Okay. These are the two uses that we're going to have for the present progressive. Is this part clear? Is this part clear right now? Se entiende lo que estamos haciendo por el momento? Okay, very good. Very good. Now, let's continue here with the explanation. Remember, subject, Verb B plus verb with ing plus complement. We have two uses, one and two. Okay. Now we are going to work here okay. in the computer. Let's make a line here. Okay. We're going to use here. And we're going to use with use number one. Use number one, activities at the moment of speaking, okay? This is going to be number one, okay? What is number two, Angie? What is the use number two? Activities at the moment to speak it. Okay. That is number one, activities of the moment of speaking. In number two? Um, future. Activities in the future or future plans. Future plans, okay. Now, what are we going to do here? And this is going to be very easy, okay? We use this formula here to write our sentences, okay? Tell me one subject, uh, Carmen, tell me one subject. Tell, tell me one subject, Carmen. The teacher. The teacher, okay. The teacher, very good. Now, what is the verb B form that goes with the teacher, Alexis? Verb B. The teacher. Espérame que me he encontrado cómo activar esta cosa. Eh, teacher, uh, verbo to be sería. Is it is, are, is. is, okay. The teacher is. Now, give me a verb, Gabriela. Um, right. Okay, right, very good. Now, pay attention, pay attention. Now, the verb here in the formula says verb with ing, right? Gabriela gave me a verb, right, perfecto, medium verb. Now, I am using present progressive, I need to change the verb, okay? What am I going to do? I am going to delete the letter E and I am going to add ing. The teacher is writing, okay? 
the teacher is writing, and if it's at the moment of speaking, we say the teacher is writing right now. Okay. The te or we're going to say now. Let's use another one. The, at the teacher screen. is writing now. Okay. The teacher is writing on the whiteboard. Right. In la, in la pizarra. Right. On the whiteboard now. The teacher is writing on the whiteboard now. Esa es la oración. De esta oración, pay attention. What is the subject, Leida? The teacher is writing on the whiteboard now. What is the subject? Teacher. Teacher, very good. What is the verb be, Angela? Is. Is, very good. What is the verb, Maria? Writing. Writing. Very good. Writing. And the complement? Uh, Maria? Writing on the whiteboard now. On the whiteboard now. On the whiteboard now. On the whiteboard now. Very good. So that will be the first sentence. Now I want you to pay attention. This sentence here, it has some elements. And we have this element here is now, right? We have the word now. This is a time phrase, okay? This time phrase, right? This time phrase is telling me right now, lo que me está diciendo es en qué momento está pasando la acción, okay? So for the activities that are happening at the moment of speaking, we use different phrases, usually at the end of the sentence, al final, usually at the end of the sentence, not in the middle, okay? no, no en el medio de la oración, usualmente al final, okay? O al inicio, now the teacher is writing on the whiteboard, okay? Podemos ponerla al inicio o al final, Lo más conveniente es ponerla al final de la oración. ¿Ok? ¿Is that for clear? ¿Is this for clear? Yes, teacher. When you write yes. at the beginning of the sentences, you write a coma. No, too. no, not oh, always. No. no, not always. Okay. Not always. Okay. Not with these words. Not with these words. Only if they are um, adverbial conjunctions, okay? But not with these words, because these are time phrases. Now, we go with the teacher is writing on the whiteboard now, that is one example, right? Now, phrases that you can use, time phrases for present progressive, okay? En este, en este uso, okay? We have, right now, now, in this moment, at this moment, in the present. Okay, these are options. These are options of phrases that we can use for the time, okay? for the time. Now, is this part clear right now? Teacher. Okay, yes. Question. Eh, esas partes que están abajo, también eh, present and for present, progresivas son las terminaciones que van a llevar como las oraciones, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I can say, the teacher is writing on the whiteboard at this moment. The teacher is writing on the whiteboard in the present. The teacher is writing on the whiteboard right now. Okay? Very good. Okay, okay. Let's continue. Now we have use number two. In use number two, we are going to write another example here, right? And we're going to think about something that we can do in the future, okay? In the future. Now, for example, Tell me one subject, uh, Gabriel. Yes. Um, we. We. 
Okay, tell me the verb B that belongs to we. Celia. Uh, the verb driving. B? No, the verb um, B. No, the verb B. Uh-huh. Is? We is. Are you sure? Driving? No. Tell Not. me the verb B. Not. We cannot yeah. use we is. We. Yeah. What? What? What do you say? ¿Qué dijo? Por favor. Are. We are. Are. Oh, okay. Yeah. We are. Very good. Tell me a verb, Asalia, in que no sea right, por favor. Play. Play. Very good. We have play. We are play. Remember, ing. Playing. Ing. Playing. We are playing. Okay. What are we playing? Tell me a sport. We are playing what? What are we playing? Tennis. Mm -hmm. Tennis. Yes. We are playing tennis. Okay. We are playing tennis. In the park. In, In the, the park. park. In the park. Next. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. We are playing tennis. In the park después. next Saturday. Now, what are we doing here again? Right? We have a phrase here, right? That is telling us when this activity is happening <laughs> in the future. Okay? Next Saturday. Now, what is the verb in this case, Emerson? The verb? Playing. Playing. Very good. What is the complement, eh, Concepcion? Tennis in the park next Saturday. Okay, tennis in the park next Saturday. Very well, very well. Now we have these sentences and look at the purpose of this sentence, okay? Now we can say we are, no, for example me, I am, I am, I am eating tamales tomorrow morning. I am eating tamales tomorrow morning. That will be a phrase that I can use for the future, okay? Time phrases for present progressive, okay? Listen, they are the same, right? The, Time phrases for present progressive. Lo que cambia es el uso, right? Next week. We can say next week, next Saturday. What else can we say? Next? Tomorrow. 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 Next tomorrow. Month. tomorrow. Next month. Okay, very well. What's another phrase for the future? Tonight. Tonight. Okay. I will say later tonight, later tonight, okay? Or tonight, we can put, okay? What's another phrase that we can say here yeah. for the future? Tell me. No more phrases? Tell me in Spanish so we can change them. Ni en español Sunday. tampoco. Okay. Sunday. On Sunday. Más tarde. On Sunday. Later on. Más tarde. Later on. Very good. What else? Year. What? Year. 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 In one year. In Last one year. year, in one year. Last year, Last year Last is simple year. past, Sandrita. Last mm. year is simple past, and this is future. This is future, 
ok? Last year está perfecto para el simple past. Very good. Now, these are examples, right? Uh -huh. Tienen que ser futuro entonces, teacher. Yes, because the, the, el uso que estamos haciendo, mire, dice use number two in the future. In the future. Or at the moment of speaking. Okay. Tell me the other one, Gabriel. In the future. <laughs> For example, tomorrow more tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow <laughs> morning. Very good. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow uh -huh. evening. Okay, very good. Like a tongue twister, right? Very good. Uh, yeah, tomorrow exactly. morning. Yeah. Yes, Sandrita? In this in este caso que usa tomorrow, porque es mañana. Uh -huh. es futuro. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's future. That's future. Okay. okay. What's another one? In two hours. In two hours. Very good. In two hours. In two hours. Very good. Now, this is this is how we are going to use the present progressive. Mírenlo, analícenlo y díganme si tienen preguntas ahorita. Por favor. The different the structure is the same, but uh, the unique difference is the last time phrases. Exactly. Correct. Very good. Excellent job. Yes. The structure is the same, right? But what's make is gonna make the difference is this the time phrases that we what use. What is the difference que dijo ella, teacher? The time phrases. These phrases teacher. that we Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia que time, dijo ella? The time, time phrases. The time phrases. Present time future. The time phrases that we use is the difference, Sandra. Right? Esa es la diferencia. Las frases verbales que ponemos al final. Las frases verbales de tiempo, eh, adverbiales de tiempo. Right? Time phrases for present progressive. Si se fijan, son totalmente distintas. Porque las frases del tiempo nos van a decir en qué momento se está ejecutando esa actividad. O se va a ejecutar esa actividad. O sea que con el presente progresivo podemos usar en este momento y en el futuro. Exacto. Exacto. Son los dos, los dos uh, escenarios, mm -hmm. se podría decir. Exactly. Very good. We y, have siempre, two... y siempre usando presente progresivo. Y siempre usando presente progresivo. Exactly. Teacher. Yes. Eh, cuando nosotros hablamos con presente progresivo de in this moment, mm -hmm. eh, la oración siempre lleva un complemento o podemos decir, por ejemplo, yo veo a alguien eh, corriendo, eh, is running, He's solo running. como comentario. Mm -hmm. eh, Se puede, no necesariamente tengo que hacer todo el, toda la oración. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You can just mention that, that, for example, if I ask you, what is she doing? She's running. Uh, okay. What, okay. What, is, what is Sandrita doing? She's writing on her notebook. She's writing. Okay. Ahí dependiendo de usted y cómo le, usted le va a dar eh, el contexto a la oración. ¿Okay? La, la segunda, use, use, use to, es, eh, por ejemplo, cuando me pregunten, ¿qué voy a hacer? Eh, yes, yes, exactly. For example, let's put here the question. I ask you, at the, yesterday we were asking the question, for example, here, what are you doing? That was the question, right? What are you doing? I am writing on the whiteboard. What are you doing? Right? That is the question that we can use. What are you doing? I am writing on the whiteboard. Right? That is going to be for, for the present progressive. 
Right here, we are going to use another one for present progressive in the future. We just put here, what are you doing? Next Saturday. What are you doing next Saturday? We are playing tennis in the park next Saturday. Okay. And then we have the answer, right? Look at the questions. They are the same. Las preguntas son iguales. ¿Qué es lo que nos va a ayudar acá? Time phrases. Okay? Time phrases. Now, are we clear with this? Do you have more questions? Si tiene más preguntas, háganlas, por favor. One question, teacher. Yes, teacher. Um, el, pres el presente progresivo solamente se aplica para afirmaciones o también lo podemos utilizar para negar alguna actividad. Yeah, for example, what are you, uh, for example, if we ask with, uh, like this, are you playing tennis next Saturday? No, I am not playing tennis next Saturday. Are you, okay. are you writing on the whiteboard, teacher? No, I am not writing on the whiteboard. No, I am not writing on the whiteboard. Right? So you can say it also in negatives, but take it easy. Ahorita, solo para ver la estructura, las funciones. Ya vamos a ver las partes gramaticales. Okay? Más, más específico. Okay? Do we understand? Entendemos cómo se va a usar y para qué se está usando esto? Yes, yes teacher. Yes? Yes? Okay, I only have one yes and the others? Teacher. Yes? En el futuro las preguntas siempre tienen que ir más estructuradas que, que... Yes, because you want to give, you want to be specific when you ask. Usted quiere ser específica cuando quiere, quiere preguntar para que le den la respuesta correcta. So you need to add more information. Teacher. Um, uh -huh. eh, in future, se puede poner este another day. In another day. Sí. Yes. Mm, no, that wouldn't make sense. No. O cómo lo quiere decir? Dígamelo cómo lo quiere decir en español. Otro otro día. Pero qué quiere decir? ¿Cuál sería la oración completa? Te veré otro día. I am going to, I am, no, in that case, I am drinking on a day. No, no. No. No, en este caso no, porque estamos hablando future plans. Right? Okay. Future plans. Son actividades que ya tenemos planificadas. Okay. Plans, plans. Usted ya Up pensó en esta actividad. Okay? Usted ya la oh, pensó okay. y seguramente... You arrange the activity. Ya sabe, ya sabe. ¿Qué ya va a pasar? Está firmado. Ajá. Exacto. Okay. Usted ya sabe okay. qué va a suceder. It is arranged. The activity has been arranged and you have a backup if you say. For example, in my case, I can say, I am teaching English next Saturday. I am teaching English next Saturday. Okay. Yo ya sé que voy a hacer okay. eso. Esos son mis planes. Very good, Azalea. Teacher, another, another time phrase can be at night. At night? Yes, but it's too general, Carmen. Ah, okay. It's too general. You need to it be was... more specific because it's a plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is the difference or why do they don't say the next Saturday? Why do you are writing only, what are you doing next Saturday? Because in English, and I'm going to be honest with you, mm -hmm. right? The book, the your book was written in El Salvador, mm -hmm. right? So in El Salvador, we use a lot the word el próximo sábado, el, la próxima semana. But in English, we don't use that, right? En el Next libro Saturday. fue sí. en el, el libro fue escrito en El Salvador. Entonces en El Salvador tenemos un problema que decimos. Eh, no, bueno, no es problema, esa es nuestra forma de hablar. Eh, ¿Qué vas a hacer el próximo sábado? Nosotros decimos el próximo sábado. Entonces, 
la hicieron la traducción y pusieron what are you doing the next Saturday. Uh -huh. okay? But the proper English, la forma correcta de decirlo sería we are we are Without. playing tennis in the park next Saturday. Sin da. Porque eso es un calco del inglés, un calco del español al inglés. Hmm? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Carmen. Another question. That was a great question. Thank you. Another question. Can I continue? Yes. Can I erase this? Borramos yes, esto? Yes. Okay. Very good. Ya no me lo voy a pedir porque lo borré. We continue here with another exercise. Can you see my computer right now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. okay, very yes. good. We have an exercise here. In this exercise, we have different options to create a conversation, where we to create some sentences, like to match them, to connect them, right? And if we have, for example, this number one, will you please be quiet? Will you please be quiet? What do you think is going to be a possible answer here? That will make sense. Que tendría sentido. That will make sense. Would you please be quiet? I am feeling sick. Ray's taking a shower at the moment. I am leaving the office now. I'm having problems with my car today. I am trying to do my homework. We're just eating our dinner. Okay. What we're going to do? is that we are going to work the sentences right now individually, okay, individually, and then we're going to check them together. Now, please take a screenshot of this activity. Hacia arriba son las respuestas, teacher. Exactly. Esas son las respuestas que las vamos a conectar con eh, las preguntas, okay? Did you take the screenshot? Tomaron the screenshot, chicos? Yes, yes, yes. Very well. Let's continue here. We're going to start right now. We're going to do this individually. Lo estamos haciendo individual. Por un momento. Please turn on your cameras. Leida, Jennifer, Celia, Jasmine. Ricardo, turn on your cameras. Tell me if you have a question, if you don't understand. I'm gonna give you three minutes. In the meantime, let me call the attendance one more time. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Presente, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carmen Lisette Hernández. Present. Thank you. Cecilia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Daniela Milker Sandoval Avilés. Present. José Alfonso Palma. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present, Michelle. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present teacher. Pedrín Ileana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexis Cuentas Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Parenga Ventura. Roxana Yanira Mejíbar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Avidaí López Escot. Thank you. Now we have here the sentence for tonight.
Did you finish? Not yet? They are a little bit difficult. No, right? We're okay. Tell me when you finish. Okay, now I am going to put you with another person so you can compare your work. Okay, we're going to work in groups of three. Please select your group. Let me see. Okay, select your groups. Select your groups of Milka, Jennifer, Leida, Ricardo, Daniel. Jennifer Abideil. Will you please be quiet? Quiet. 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 Hello. <laughs> I am 
trying to do my homework. Teaching. One more time. I am trying to do my homework. Would you please, please, okay. I am trying to do my homework. Okay, good. What else? Ahorita estamos en la otra siguiente. Aún no hemos avanzado. Que las copiamos. Okay. On the phone. Can I... I'm confused with the answers and the answers. Answers. Why? Because I don't encounter much a las preguntas con las respuestas. For example, mm -hmm. eh, eh, by the primera I say, "Will you please be quiet?" Eh, pero hay una que Por ejemplo, dice lo que dijo este Angela. I'm trying to do, go, to do my homework. Uh -huh. ya me está preguntando por qué no estás quieto. Y no, no le, está no le está preguntando por qué no estás quieto. Te puedes callar, por favor. Will you please be quiet? Uh -huh. Eso pasa por traducir. Will you please be que... quiet? Uh -huh. Nada, olvídelo. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me if you have a question, please. Díganme si hay preguntas. Hay una, hay una pregunta, lo que dice on the phone, eh, me imagino yo que están hablando en el teléfono, que la persona exactly. dice ese teléfono, ¿ya? Entonces uh -huh. le dice, can I phone you later? Como, eh, ¿puedo llamarte después? Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Yes. Eh... Yo lo que diría. Me Can I find you later? Ajá. Yes. Uh, pero no hay ninguna respuesta de las que están ahí que yo puedo utilizar así. ¿Por porque qué? No sé, porque, vaya, por ejemplo, ahí yo utilizaría, si me están diciendo. Eh, es como. Yo, no sé, yo no, creo, no, no hay una. <ríe> Sorry. Yo <ríe> no. creo que ahí. Perdón. Creo que ahí sería, I am having problems with my car today. Porque okay. como dice, ajá, uh -huh, I can, can I find you later? Okay, can I find you later? I am, I am having problems with my car today. Okay, I am having problems with my car today. That could be one answer. Very good. Very okay. good, Angie. ¿Cuál sería otra respuesta? Ahorita voy a... I live in the office now. I'm leaving the office now. Okay, very good. I am leaving the office now. Okay, good. Doña Perdina. La pregunta, a ver si entiendo bien la pregunta, es, could you stop the car, please? Es como que alguien fuera manejando y yo le puedo decir, ¿puede detener el auto? ¿Es así? Detener el auto, sí. ¿Puede detener el auto? Could you stop the car, please? Yes. What happens... ¿Qué, ¿Qué le está queriendo decir a alguien que le está diciendo, could you stop the car, please? ¿Por qué cree que le pueden decir eso? Uh, um, podría ser, I, I am feeling sick. Exactly, Angie. I am feeling sick. Very good. Okay. Could you stop the car, please? I am feeling sick. ¿Nunca tenía en su carro alguien que se siente mareado? Sí. Ok. I am feeling sick. Ah. ah, remember, we are trying to learn English, right, with things that happen to us every day, okay? Entonces, como lo que nos pasa día con día es con base en contexto, no con base en un libro, right? Seguimos el libro porque tenemos que seguir las reglas de, de, 
y gramática, pero también tenemos que entender el contexto de lo que estamos hablando. Right? Sí. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. I see you in a moment. Okay. Any questions? ¿Qué significa? Eh, me voy a hacer mi palabra. Palabra de inicio. Me voy a hacer mi palabra. Tenemos duda en la en number five, teacher. Okay. Is it okay if we take a taxi? Yes. What's the answer? Eh, según nosotros, eh, I, I... I'm waiting to do my homework. I am trying to do my homework. Ok. En, oigan bien, ¿qué dice, la, ¿qué dice la pregunta? ¿Cómo interpreta? No me digan la traducción. ¿Cómo interpretan la pregunta? ¿Es it ok if I take a taxi? Ok. ¿Esa conecta con I am trying to do my homework? No. No, right? At all. It does not. No conecta. No tiene nada que ver una parte con la otra. Sí. Okay. Just think about the possible answers. Yes. I don't have any. La sería. La cuatro sería I'm having, ¿verdad? Having. Having. I'm having. Having. I'm having. I'm having problems. Having with, problems with my car today. Problems. It's okay. Which? We take a taxi. Esa es la cinco. Uh -huh. With my car. What we My car today. Right. Right. I will be listening to you, okay? Mm -hmm. sí, Practice entonces... the pronunciation. Okay. Okay. La cinco, it is okay if uh, if we take a taxi. Entonces la sería respuesta la cuatro. sería la cuatro. I'm sí. having problem, problems with my car today. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Entonces la última sería where are you? Eating or, uh, or dinner? We're, we're just eating or dinner. You start eat, eat, eating. Eating, no estoy segura si se Cooking pronuncia. Dinner. La respuesta, um, I am having problems, having problems with my car today. Ay, ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Yo también ya me confundí todas. Where? Will you start, Where will you start cooking you the dinner? 18. Or dinner. Dinner. Ok. Teacher. La Teacher. La cuatro. Teacher. Es rice. Rice. Taking. A shower. Just. At. The moment. Teacher. No, no tiene no. activado el, el, el micrófono. micrófono. Ah, no. <risa> yes, este, ah, así no. nos pasa, así nos pasa. La pronunciación de eating y está con. Uh, we, we're, we're just eating or dinner. We're just eating. 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 Eating, eating. Oh, okay. eating or dinner. Eating or dinner. Porque eight es en pasado. Eight. Uh -huh. Eat. Oh. Eight. Eating. Eating. Uh, okay. Okay, very good. Let's go. I think we finish, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Vámonos con todos los demás. Okay, very good. Now, did we finish the exercise? Yes, very good, very good. Now, let's go ahead and practice here with the possible answers. 
You are going to give me the possible answers. You may have different answers, but after that, we're going to check the correct answers, okay? Let's see. We have number one. Gabriela, what do you have in number one? Number one, I'm trying to do my homework. I am trying to do my homework. Okay, very good. Carmen, on the phone, can I find you later? I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, let's see, Concepcion. Could you stop the car, please? I am having problems with my car today. I am having problems with my car today. Okay. On the phone, Angie, can I take a message? Can I take a message, Angie? I'm sorry. Um, esa, justamente esa no la tengo. Vamos a ver. <risa> Voy a dar copia. Ah, sí, era, era de mi equipo. Uh -huh. I help me. <risa> ¿Ok? Uh, yes, Ricardo. Yes, yes. Rice. Right. Rice taking a shower Rice. at the moment. Rice taking a shower at the moment. Ok, good. ¿Es it ok if we take a taxi, Asalia? Is it okay if we take a taxi? I am. I am racing. Dígame no. su respuesta. I am having problem with my car today. I am having problems with my car today, okay? On the phone, would you start cooking the dinner, Emerson? Will you start cooking the dinner? Um, we are just eating our dinner. We're just eating our dinner. Okay, very good. Those are the answers that we have. There are only like two answers that can be like repeated. Okay, let's check the answers. Look at the answers. Will you please be quiet? Read the answer, Gabriel. Hola. Will you please be quiet? I'm, I'm trying to do my homework. I'm trying to do my homework, very good. Maria Concepcion, read the answer. On the phone, can I find you later? We are just eating our dinner. Okay, very good, we're just eating our dinner. Could you stop the car, please, Carmen? I'm feeling sick. I am feeling sick. I want to throw up, right? That is, I am feeling sick. Very good. On the phone, can I take a message? Alexis? Um, Ray? Ray, uh-huh. Ray is taking a shower at the moment. Very good. We can just hear two options, okay? Ray is taking a shower or Ray is having a shower. Two options. Very good. Number five, Sandrita, is it okay if we take a taxi? I'm having problems with my car today. Very good. And the last one on the phone, hey, Gabriela, would you start cooking the dinner? I'm leaving the office now. I'm leaving the office now. Very well, very well. These, these examples are taken from everyday conversations, okay? These are taken from everyday conversations. Se toman de las, de las pláticas o conversaciones que tienen en Estados Unidos diariamente, right? 
Son frases que utilizamos diariamente. Would you please be quiet? Okay, right? Te podrías callar. I'm trying to do my homework, right? Would you stop the car, please? I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick means cuando usted siente así como que su estómago está listo para vomitar, right? I am feeling sick, right? Now, do we understand the answers? ¿Entendemos las respuestas? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes? Do you have questions? No, no. Look, yes, I I have a question. Mm -hmm. eh, la dos, eh, le preguntan por teléfono. Can you phone later? Can I phone you later? La respuesta es we are eating for dinner. Digamos, en, yo sé que no hay que traducir, pero para que se, eh, yo lo pueda entender sería. Eh, ¿Te puedo llamar después? Aquí diríamos normalmente sí, porque ahorita estamos comiendo. Es la misma respuesta, solo que en inglés. Exacto. Can I find you later? Te, te voy a llamar después, estoy ocupado. Right. Can I find you later? We're just eating our dinner. En este caso, Carmen dio un ej otro ejemplo. Can I find you later? I'm feeling sick. También podría ser. ¿Por qué? Usted no puede atender el teléfono, se siente enfermo. Can I find you later? I'm feeling sick. Right. Can I find? Mm -hmm. Yes. Igual este, yo había puesto también I am leaving the office now. Exactly. Very good. That is another option. Can I find you later? I'm leaving the office now. No, ya no, ya no acepto llamadas. Me, me largo. Mm -hmm. Right? Yo, yo le puse I am having problems with my car today. That is very, very strange. That would be very particular. Right? Okay. Pero se podría utilizar, pero en, en realidad cuando se le queda un carro, eh, sería como algo súper especial, random, que usted se le quede, alguien le llame. I can I find you later? I'm having problems with my car today. Okay. Va a depender, okay. si nos fijamos, de qué depende cada respuesta. Uh -huh. Las cuatro serie, estarían perfectas. Todas las que ustedes me han dado estarían bien utilizadas. ¿Por qué están bien? Porque se va a basar en el contexto en el que lo va, vamos a usar la pregunta y el contexto en el que vamos a utilizar la respuesta. Hay unas que definitivamente no pegan. Por ejemplo, can I take a message? Can I take a message? We, uh, can I take a message? Ray is taking a shower at the moment. That's the answer. But we cannot say, can I take a message? Uh, I am trying to do my homework. Mm -mm. It doesn't match, right? Hay unas que de verdad no pega una con la otra, right? So we have to be very careful. Now, did you, did you get the answers? ¿Ya tienen la respuesta? ¿Ya hicieron los cambios necesarios? Yes. ¿Ya agregaron? ¿Ya quitaron? Okay, very good. Let's continue. Yes, sol yes? Asale? No, solamente esa era la, el cambio nomás que tenía yo. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, This is, this is the information from the book, right? That the book is telling us uh, what time, uh, well, that we use the present continuous to talk about arrangements. We already know that, so we don't have a problem with this, right? This is the information of the book. Es lo mismo que acabamos de exponer, que se utiliza el present progressive or present continuous to talk about future plans or arrangements, okay? It's the same. Now, spelling rules of the verb, right? When we are writing the books with ing, right, there are some spelling rules that we need to be careful with, right? Now, we have rules. Every time that we are using grammar, we have rules. Most of the verbs, you are going to use ing and i need you to pay attention to this right most of the verse we only add ing look at the change hold holding breathe reading drink drinking then we have verse that ends with e erase the e and add ing take taking live living 
¿Cuál fue el verbo que yo le quité la E en el ejemplo que dimos? What was the verb? Right. Right. Very good. Right. Writing. Right. Right. Writing. Writing. So we eliminate the E, we erase the E, la eliminamos, la quitamos, le damos por allá, right? And then we add ING, okay? Todos los verbos que terminan en E. Then we have verbs ending with X, Y, and W. Just add ING. Los que terminan solamente con la X, la Y o la W, solamente le agregamos ING. Enjoy. Enjoying, play. study, studying, very good. Play, playing, very good. Play, playing. Then we have another example, and this is very another rule. This is very important. Verbs that end in consonant vowel, consonant and the last syllable is stressed. Double the last consonant and add ing. Swim, run. Put, swimming, running, putting. Stop. Y tenemos que tener ese ruido, ese, esa, esa entonación en, en el verbo que estamos utilizando para que ese verbo pueda utilizarse y podamos, podamos a duplicar la última letra. ¿Okay? Fíjense cómo es el verbo. Swim. Y miren qué largo se hace con present progressive. Swimming, right? We have two syllables. Swimming. Swim. Swimming. Run. Running. Stop. Stopping. Right? We have two syllables. There are some of them, right, that they have non-stressed syllable, right? We just put ing. Happen, happening. Right. No le vamos a agregar eh, ninguna otra palabra a este verbo. Then we have verbs that end in I. Change the verb, change the I, E to Y before adding I, E, G. For example, die, giant. Lie, lion. Right. These are going to be examples that we are going to choose. Now, we have this. Please take a screenshot so you have a base of what we're doing right now. Take a screenshot, please. Questions about these rules? Questions about the rules? No. No? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. No, me queda muy claro lo de verb stats and in consonant, vowel consonant. Eh, diría que si la letra termina en una consonante y previo hay una vocal, entonces se agrega una doble consonante, más el I, A, N, G. It would be, for example, here. It says verse that end with consonant, vowel, consonant. Swim, right? It ends uh -huh. with W, I, M. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay? Pero, aparte de cumplir esa parte de la regla, the syllable, the last syllable should be stressed. Okay, should be stressed. You should have a sound that is higher than the others, right? So we say swim. Estos son verbos, la mayoría son verbos cortos. Swim, run, put, okay? So what do we do? We duplicate the last, we duplicate the last uh, word, right? We have swim, now we're gonna have duplicate M, and then we have ing, right? So we have swimming. Okay. okay. What happens with happen? Okay. Ah, uh, Silvia, pero termina en consonante, vocal, consonante. Yes. But is non-stressed. Okay, we say happen. 
We don't say happen, right? We just say happen. La palabra es un poco flat. No está estresada la pronunciación de la palabra. Okay, we just say happen. And the other ones listen. Swim, run, put, right? We can say also eh, stop, stop. Eso, uh -huh. eso. E ese es el ejemplo que quería utilizar. Stop, que es una uh -huh. palabra Stopping. como Stopping. fuerte. Entonces, stopping. Uh -huh. Stopping. Yeah. Stopping. Okay. That's... Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Thank you. Very good. So we have these examples, right? Good question, Gabriel. Any other question, guys? In this case, for example, is only one sound. Sweet. Usually, all the verbs they have just this sound. In esa regla, casi todos los verbos tienen solamente una sílaba. Hmm? Yes. Cut, cutting, right? I am cutting the meat for the food, right? Usually all of them, cut. they have only put. I am putting the food on the table. Mm -hmm. La mayoría de, de los verbos que utilizaremos acá son de una sílaba. Okay, very good. Any other questions? Okay. Me gustan las preguntas, muy buenas. Good, thank you, thank you. What about the others? Más preguntas? No questions? O sea, teacher, que lo que observo ahí que en esos swing, run y put, o sea, la última consonante mm -hmm. se le agrega más ing. Exactly. ING. Ajá, entonces, pero solo son esos verbos, no hay, digamos, otro, ¿verdad? Sí, hay más, muchísimos más. O sea, sería la regla igual. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Si usted se encuentra con un verbo que termine esas, en esa condición y que tenga uh -huh. esas características, tiene que aplicar la regla. Estos okay. son solo ejemplos. Hay Ejemplo. infinidad de verbos que podemos utilizar. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Now, let me continue here. No más preguntas. ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? Please let me know. Okay, no questions. No, teacher. No. Let's continue. Give me a moment. My computer is stuck. It's late. So. We're going to make a summary right now of what we just did, right? Como un, un overall of what we just did for the present continuous or present progressive. This is what we did, right? We have the uses, things that are happening now, right? Temporary situations, future plans. Estas dos son iguales, no nos podemos preocupar. Forms, negatives, affirmatives, and interrogatives. Emerson, can you please read the affirmative forms. In the affirmative, um, I am watching the whiteboard. Now look at my computer. Can you look at my computer, please? Yes. I am watching, is that what it says? Eso okay. dice? No miran donde dice present continuous en amarillo. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Emerson, yes. can you read the affirmative yes. form? I am drinking. <laughs> I am drinking. I am drinking tea. You <laughs> tea. I am drinking tea. Okay. We don't know features. <laughs> okay. Sueñito. El sueñito de Marte. Más que me aflijo. Okay. Emerson, affirmative. Read the two examples. <laughs> I am drinking tea. He is working at home. Okay, very good. Negative form, Emerson. I am not drinking tea. He isn't working. He isn't working. If you see the negative form, si ustedes ya practicaron la negative form con el verbo to be, esta forma es la misma. Okay? It's the same, right? Interrogatives or questions, Asalia. 
Are you drinking tea? Mm -hmm. Is is he working at home? Okay, is he working at home? Very good. And we have some examples here of time expressions. Of course, nosotros ya tenemos muchas más que estas, right? We have now, at the moment, today, this week, right? And the position at the end of the sentence, right? She's staying with her, she's staying with her aunt this week. Puede ser al final. This week, she's staying with her aunt. Sería otra opción, okay? Now, are we clear with this part? ¿Se entiende esta actividad? ¿Se entiende el, 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 el overall de lo que estamos haciendo? El summary, resumen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Let me stop sharing here. And we will continue with another activity here. We are going to practice right now. We're going to use the present progressive to create a conversation, okay? It says here on the book, it, they give us this task. Create a sentence using present progressive or schedule activities in the future. Okay, create a conversation, a dialogue. A dialogue. Using present progressive for schedule activities in the future. Practice your conversation and role play, okay? We are going to practice to do this activity right now. We're going to start this activity and we're going to finish this activity tomorrow, okay? But right now we are going to start writing the dialogue, right? Now the dialogue is going to have present progressive, right? For activities in the future, in the future. You're going to practice the conversation and you're going to then practice the conversation in front of everyone else, okay? Vamos a trabajar acá. ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer en el momento? We're going to create, we're going to write a dialogue using present progressive for future. And then we're going to practice the conversation. Esta vez ustedes van a crear el diálogo. Okay. Van a crear un diálogo. Van a usar el presente progresivo con, para el futuro. Right? For future plans. Van a practicar su conversación y mañana la vamos a practicar aquí en la clase. Ok. O sea que mañana venimos y de un solo a practicar la conversación. Porque se supone que ya la tendrían hecha. Let's start. We're going to have five minutes to do this activity. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Right? We're going to work in pairs. Let me see. There we are. Solo va a haber un equipo de tres, okay? Then the other ones, you are in pairs. Todo lo demás estará en pareja, solo hay un grupo de tres, okay? Vamos a trabajar en el breakout room para que ustedes se pongan de acuerdo cómo van a hacer la actividad, cómo van a hacer la conversación, y luego la vamos a trabajar. Is that clear? ¿Se entiende qué vamos yes. a hacer? Yes. 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 Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ya tienen sus grupos. Recuérdense quién trabaja con quién, por favor. Recuérdense de, de, de ver quién trabaja con quién, porque con esa persona van a trabajar mañana. Ricardo, Angie, select your groups. Yes. Do you have questions? Yeah. Hello. Sí, ahorita aquí nos estamos poniendo de acuerdo, Tichi. Tell me if you have questions. Dígame si tienes preguntas. Vamos a crear un diálogo utilizando todo lo que hemos practicado hasta el momento, ¿verdad? Exactly. With present progressive. Exactly. Okay. Lo que queremos decir. 
¿Qué vamos a hacer dentro de una semana? ¿Qué vamos Exacto. a hacer dentro de dos meses? Eh, si voy a aplazar inglés. Si voy okay. a aplazar. <risa> That's what you're going to do. Exactly. That's what you're going to practice. I will go with Emerson because he needs help. Hi, Emerson. Hi, teacher. One question. Huh? Eh, la conversación esta que tenemos que crear es individual o una conversación en pareja? En pareja. Por eso está con la señorita Leida. Oh, ok. Había es que habíamos entendido que era individual. Individual mm -hmm. cada uno. No, en sí. pareja. Bueno, si quieren hacer dos, háganlas. Ok. Si quieren hacer dos, de todo. <risa> no, una más. <basta. risa> no, una más, gracias. Solamente, solamente. Ok, yes. good. Let me know if you have more questions. Dígame si tienen más preguntas. Eh, no. no. No? No, no, no. Ok. I see you in a moment, okay? Okay. Eh, Leida, bueno, en ese caso, bueno, primero tal vez... In... Carmen, first uh -huh. I am checking my mail. In my email and, and in after calling. That, and after that? Ajá. Uh -huh. And call. What? Um... Mm -hmm. mm, and sending, sending order. Um, what? Order de compra sería. Purchase, Say, purchase, purchase order. order. Ella ah. sabe. Purchase order. Purchase order de compra. Ajá. Purchasing uh, order. Purchasing orders. Purchasing. Purchasing order. Uh, and you? Order, order, two. Okay, uh, hello Carmen. First, I am checking my emails and after that I'm sending purchasing orders to. Yes. Um, what, um, ahora sería, what are do, do you do, doing? Uh -huh. What are you uh, doing? In the, in the morning? Um, next week. What are you doing? Next week. Next, next week. week. Uh -huh. Do you have questions, Daniel and Gabriela? Yes, teacher. Ah, uh, una pregunta. La estábamos. Okay. Tell me. Es lo estábamos haciendo individual, pero... En, en pareja. Porque al inicio, ver, va, lo, uh, la conversación sería, digamos, un ejemplo, yo preguntándole a ella, ella respondiéndome y viceversa. Exacto, exacto. Hacer el diálogo, hacer el diálogo entre los dos, escribirlo, practicarlo y mañana decirlo. Exacto. Very good, Daniel. Very good. Uh, pero algo cortito, no se preocupen. Algo corto, bien hecho, pero cortico, ¿ok? Eh, pero por, por, podría ser eso, por ejemplo, um, a ver, eh, que yo le pregunte a Daniel como, por ejemplo, que, que um, what do you do in the next Monday? Ok, what are you doing next Monday? Ok, what are you doing next Monday? Y a él me responde, ¿verdad? Exactly. Next. Progresivo, todo lo que nos mostró ella. Sí. Ahí. No pasa acá. Ahí le escribo. Ya <risa> tiene dos minutos. Tell Ay, me. yo vi que me cayó un mensaje. No. <risa> Hi, teacher. Hi. Este, Um, solamente sería present progressive, present y futuro, ¿verdad? Las dos son, do, las dos son present progressive. Ajá, vamos a hacer eh, en presente y en futuro. O solamente presente o solo futuro. Only for future plans. 
only for future plans. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ok. Amber, vamos a usar entonces a hacer... ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Tell me? Yes. Do you have any questions, any examples right now? ¿Qué han escrito? No. Um, Estamos viendo los es... ejemplos del libro de la página 31 y 33, que es similar sería, ¿verdad? Dicho. 31 33. Ajá. ¿Sí? ¿Qué tienen en la 31 33? Muéstrame ahí el libro, ¿sale? Uh, Así en la cámara. Uh -huh. Ok. 31 33. Oh, but that is the guy that is speaking with present pro, with simple present. Ahorita solo present continuous. Solo present continuous. Esa, esa, esa conversación la vamos a hacer mañana. Que vamos a combinar el presente oh, simple okay. y el presente continuo. Y Day este yet. sería igual entonces. No, that is only present progressive. ¿Mm? Present progressive for future plans. Ustedes con lo que ustedes saben, con lo que ustedes pueden, no copien la conversación. Con lo poquito que ustedes pueden, no. con eso hagan su conversación. Uh -huh. Sí, okay. solamente nos estábamos guiando eh, con esa, con la 33. Uh -huh. Más o menos así lo vamos a hacer. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, very well then. Now just let's go. Okay. Did you finish your conversation? No. <laughs> Sandra, la cara que pone. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa, Sandra? Okay. No te a medias. Le, le dejo a mí. Le, reconstruye mi, pro, mi pre, pregunta, Sandra. ¿Ya se pusieron de acuerdo para hacer la conversación? <ríe> Aquí, tampoco. Ay, Dios. Tampoco. Remember no. this conversation. This conversation eh, is going to be very simple, okay? With the vocabulary that you know, with the words and the verbs that you remember, okay? I want you to practice present progressive for future plans. Eso es todo. Okay? Present progressive for future plans. Eso es lo que van a practicar en una conversación cortica. Recuérdense mañana quién va con quién, porque lo voy a preguntar para practicar la conversación en la clase. Esa va a ser la primera actividad que vamos a tener mañana. ¿Ok? So please be on time, Ricardo Gabriel. Be okay. on time. Now. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, very good. <laughs> Si no va a dejar, a, ¿con quién trabajo? ¿Con Sandra? Yes, con Sandra. La va a dejar sola y se la Sandra viene tarde. Venga temprano, Sandra, por favor. No. <laughs> Let me call the attendance very quick. Let me call the attendance. We're going to finish in, with this activity, right? And then I will stay with martes 16 de marzo with Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Okay, I will stay with you, Sandrita. So let's go ahead. Let me call the attendance right now. Uh, Ana Gabriela Cordova. Present. Ana Angela de Jesus. Present, teacher. Asalia Melanie. Present. Teacher, Carmen. Teacher, perdón. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, me toca a mí ahora. Sí. No puede quedarse alguien más porque es igual siempre todavía me siento un poquito mal. Ok, alguien más que se quiera quedar en vez de Sandrita, me avisa al final de la asistencia. Piénselo. Carmen Lizette Hernández Escobar. Present. 
Lilia Jasmin Castro de Chávez. Present. Daniela Milker Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Glenda Esmeralda Trigueros. José Alfonso Palma. Juan Josué. Leida Azucena. Present. Luis Armando Ventura. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Iriana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Ricardo Alexis. Present, teacher. Ricardo Gabriel. Present. Roxana Yanira, Sandra Gladys, and Jennifer Avidair. Okay, very well. So that's all for today, guys. I see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Have a beautiful night and rest a lot. Complete su conversación. Bye, Bye, Carmen. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you.